Constitution. And this is our fourth clip now, and we're talking about uh, how to cross a turn. So, Pippi here is a 23 year old, and she was having issues on the last clip. We had just started to introduce the charm. So I'm gonna talk about how I actually use my keys to get her over this because she is having a bit of an issue with it. So when I ask the horse to come forward, I'm gonna tap the meaty part of the hip. If I can't reach that part, I'm gonna tap on the side along the rib cage. Okay, if she starts to come towards me, I'm gonna tap on the shoulder or on the fatty part of the neck. So this stick becomes like my magic wand. So basically, I draw an imaginary line right here, and I want her to stay on her side. If she were on a train track, I don't want her to derail, because if she starts to bring her shoulder towards me, the rest of her body's coming over here, and she's gonna run me over. If she starts to take her shoulder away, then she's thinking about dragging me, and once they spin around, you're in a position to get kicked. So always be cautious when you're working with your horse, and when you're doing things like this, they tend to go through a lot of learning cycles and a lot of learning phases very quickly. And they'll start to jump on top of you, they'll start to kick out of fear, they'll start to pull, drag, you name it, rear, kick at you. And it's very, very important that you have good control of the body before you ever attempt to do anything like this. As I said on my last clip, if you get into a, a bind with your horse and you feel like it is too much for you to deal with, get the help of a trainer. By no means am I showing this clip in order for anybody to be able to do this with their own horse. Okay? I've done this for years with hundreds of horses, so make sure that your first instinct to do this, if you need the help of a trainer, please get it. Okay, so I'm going to ask Pip to come forward, and I'm still going to keep her nose as straight as I can. Oh, good girl. So right there was a great attempt. I'm just going to back off for a second. Okay, she really tried. She's got her foot on the bath mat. She thinks she's fabulous right now, don't you? Yeah, good girl. Okay, so it's important that you praise when they do well. Okay, I'm gonna ask her for just one even weight shift if she can give it to me. Here she's guessing backwards, and I'm gonna keep tapping until she makes an attempt for, oh my goodness, what a good girl. That was awesome. Okay, I thoroughly expected her to jump over it. I expected her to jump sideways. That was seriously the first time she crossed it, which was excellent for her. So what it's showing is the fact that she's really starting to gain confidence and becoming respectful of what I'm asking her to do. Now you can see she's starting to back up, right? Here's where everybody would stop tapping. Don't stop tapping. And the obstacle, again, I'm gonna say it again, is just something in the way of our intended path of travel. I'm still just working on getting Pip to come forward by tapping her on her hip. Here's my gas pedal, gas pedal. Okay, she cannot ignore me. I need movement. If I need to keep her straight, I'm going to make my line a little shorter. Fantastic, girl. Good for you. And what I like is, you can see, in the first clip I, I told you when we first started working, and again, total, we've probably been working 35 minutes between all these four clips. I did no warm-up with this horse. I have not teach, taught her to cross it. You're seeing it for the very first time. Okay, so the fact that we have done all of the foundation work prior to this, it's okay. Okay, if she gets up there and she's scared, it's okay, right? She's allowed to be scared. She's allowed to worry. I don't mind all of that because what I want is a horse that thinks, a horse that is conscious of their own body, and a horse that's a little bit worried so that when we do get to a sticky situation at any point in time, she is going to worry about herself a little bit. That way she'll worry about me as well. I get a little weary of horses that don't care about their own well-being. Okay, here you can see she's a little squirrely. Okay. All right, so here's where the lesson starts. She said, I'm not sure about that. Coming from the other direction, good girl. That was forward. Okay, we're going to accept that because she tried. Even if she takes her head down but doesn't move her feet, I consider that forward. You need to go straight. Great. Good girl. Please. Good. And that was fine that she came across that way. You know, I don't get too picky at first. I don't get so, so, so specific because then you end up getting in a fight with them. Oh, good girl, Pam. Good girl. Very nice. Yeah. And eventually it gets to the point where she'll just run on over it. Okay, so if I can get it to the point where I can
can incorporate these right into her trot circles when she's working on her body muscling and the position. Fantastic. I can kill two birds with one stone. There you go. Okay, hip, we're going to change direction. Come forward. Again, every time I use this stick, that would be most my legs on her back. Okay, because I start working on getting them to go forward at first under saddle with a dressage whip in my hand because they're used to it on the ground. Good girl. Okay, so then I start gradually adding in my legs because our brooks have no idea. They have no clue. And over time, that little dive in towards me, we need to fix. Good girl. Okay, the other thing that's important to see and remember with Kim here is when I first started working with her, she was quick and fast and just wanted to get everything over with. And, you know, that's fine in the beginning, but as we progress, I also want her to walk over this turn and take her time over this turn and really listen to what I have to say and slow down a little bit. Not just do it out of fear to get it over with, but actually to really understand and accept the lesson. Girl. You can see, sometimes she just looks at me and goes, I don't know what she wants. Okay. Yeah, we are in this about four hours total. I just met this horse three days ago, so she was out in the pasture doing nothing. Again, we're backing up, so I'm going to reiterate, go. I'm going to send my hand and the line forward so she knows that this is the direction. We're lightening the load. Okay, go ahead.